With the 100th anniversary of World War I coming up, we decided that we really needed to do an exhibit all about North Carolina's participation in World War I. It was a great accomplishment for the staff who worked really hard to, to create this exhibition. So it was always a relief to see an exhibit come together. Jackson Marshall, who's our Deputy Secretary, is an expert, so to speak, on World War I. I mean, he's done a book on World War I, he's done lots of research, and so it, it, when we came up with the idea for the exhibit, he took on the responsibility of really creating a different experience for our oh, visitors. This exhibition is not about facts and figures and battles and strategy and numbers. It's about what happened to people, how what their experiences were like. And we used the interviews that I did, we used letters and diaries from the state archives, to retell the story. We really wanted to give the visitors an experience of what it was like going overseas for the very first time and participating in probably one of the most horrific wars that the world has ever seen. We need to introduce trench warfare before we actually put the visitors in a trench system. So I said, well, I have something at home that my sons and I did years ago when they were in middle school. It's a diorama um, of a World War I uh, trench warfare battlefield. What we found is this is probably the most successful temporary exhibit we've ever had. We're already almost at 400,000 visitors for this exhibit and it only opened a little over a year ago. What we have on display here is a tunic button. Well, I have not touched. The looks up on my coat and says, yes you are too. Look at that button on your coat. A German machine gun bullet has struck the button and ricocheted off of the button right in his throat, and that's what saved his life. I've never met a more dedicated state employee than Jackson. I think, without a doubt, I couldn't think of a better person to nominate uh, for, this, for this award, and I think he's most deserving. Honestly, I was surprised that I was even nominated for it, and I'm humbled that I've received it. Again, this is not my project, this is a museum project. I have tremendous staff here put together this exhibition. So while I'm receiving the award, um, for my recognition. I really see it more as something to honor the veterans of World War I. For that reason, I'm glad that I've, I'm receiving the award because it brings them the recognition that they deserve.